Hello everyone, this is Alex from 3D Printer How To. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Repetier Host with your Maker Gear M2. To do this, you will need to download the software from the Repetier website. First, go to the Download tab at the top and scroll down to the most recent version. For us, this is the Windows version 0.90C. You can click here to download it. Once you've downloaded it and installed the software, you can open it up. Before you can connect to your printer, you'll need to go to change some printer settings. If you don't remember which COM port your printer is connected to, you'll have to open up your device manager. As you can see, ours is connected through COM6. So you change the COM port, and then you'll need to change the baud rate to 115200. Next, you'll need to change the printer settings. The default extruder temperature for us is 195C. This is what we extrude PLA at. And the default heated bed temperature is 100C for ABS. We don't have a temperature set for PLA because we use painter's tape instead of heat. We have also adjusted the part position to 130, 250, 0. This moves the bed all the way down and all the way forward so that you can easily take the part off after a print is done. You'll need to adjust your printer shape next. Uh, the printer type is a classic printer and the values that we changed were the Y max to 250 and the print area depth to 250, both in millimeters. After you've done that, you're complete with the printer settings. After you've changed your printer settings, you can now connect by pressing this button in the top left. If you've connected successfully, the button will turn green. Along the top here, you have the load button if you want to load an STL or a G-code file. If you slice something, you can save your G-code file to an SD card that you can print on the printer with an SD card instead of being connected with a USB cable. Once you've sliced something, you can click Run Job here. You can kill it if it's running and you need to stop it. This is how you access the SD card section. You've got your mount and unmount buttons. And this is an example of a G-code file where if you select it, you can press play. Toggle log button is here, and this gives you this is your status window that appears at the bottom. Show and filament and show travel will show the filament and the travel that your extruder will do during a print. This will be more easier to understand when you have a G code file loaded in. Now it's loaded in STL. By clicking the load button, you can go to the desktop and scroll down to the tool holder that we've uploaded the Thingiverse. From here, you can place the object. Right here, you can do translations. You can scale it up if you'd like to make it larger. We'll leave it at one so it'll fit perfectly on our Maker Gear frame. You can also rotate in the X, Y, or Z. These values are degrees, so if you rotate it 90 degrees in the Y, it'll look funny on your bed. It's designed to lay perfectly flat, so if you hit the center object button right here, it'll be ready to print. Now let's go to the manual control section. If you've connected successfully, all of these will be lit up. From here you can adjust that, all your axes. Plus X moves your extruder motor to the right, while minus moves to the left. Plus Y will move the bed towards you, while minus Y will move it away from you. Minus Z moves the bed up, while plus Z moves it down. Home Y will move the bed all the way back. Home X will move the motor all the way to the left and Home Z should move the bed all the way up. Turn motors off, we'll stop everything and the bed will drop all the way to the bottom. If you hit park, it'll take the bed to the park position that you set in the printer settings earlier. Here's the button for the heat print bed. You can also adjust the temperature. We're not going to do that right now. Here's the button for the large fan. Moving this slider will adjust the speed of your fan. We turn on the extruder, we have it set to 195. Once you've clicked heat extruder and you've waited for the temperature to rise, you can now begin extruding filament. Philip is going to feed filament into the extruder and push it down so the filament will start to come out the bottom. You can adjust how much is extruded in this box right here. You can use the arrows or manually enter a number that will select how many millimeters of filament will get fed into the extruder. You can also do the same with retract if you want to pull the filament out to change colors we get rid of a jam. You can adjust the speed, but we prefer to keep ours at 100 millimeters per minute. I'm now going to keep pushing the extrude button until we see plastic come out the bottom. As you can see, we have black PLA filament now coming out the extruder tip. That means our extruder is not clogged and it's running good. The other thing I forgot to mention earlier is the preview window here on the left for your parts. You can zoom in and out, you can rotate around, and you can pan to see your objects. This concludes our video on how to get started with Repetier Host. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.
Thanks for watching.